110 West Benton in Sarah, Oklahoma. We have a brick home, two car garage with automatic openers, 30 by 30 garage, composition shingle roof that looks like it's in really pretty good shape. Love the porch area. This is also on a corner lot. It sits on the corner of 5th and Benton, but you're still close to downtown. And then there's a restaurant within walking distance. So let's go in and see. This would be a great rental property. It'd be great for a retired couple, uh, somebody that could do a few repairs. This is the property. So when you walk in, look at these hardwood floors. Oh, and there's Jolene. We have a closet, just a, a good uh, coat closet. Nice windows here. I love these actually. And so to the left, you go to the kitchen, has a linoleum, electric cooktop, new faucet here on the sink. But guys, look at this, cast iron. I love those. Dishwasher works, we ran it last night. You have additional cabinets over here and your oven. There's actually quite a few cabinets in this. Look at all that storage. You can put you a little table over there. This is a nice size room. You go from the kitchen, you make a small step down here, and then look at this big laundry room with more storage down here on the end. And you have access here to the backyard and to your garage. Washer and dryer goes here. You can tell that some of the plumbing has been updated. Let's go ahead while we're here and look at the garage. Small step down here, and the garage has been finished. Has some electrical updates. Uh, like I say, um, electric openers. And then they have stored quite a bit of stuff up here, so there is a little bit of decking. Okay, and then we're going to go Let's just look out the back door and see what it looks like. There is a wood porch here. Look at this backyard. Y'all, that's a beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, pecan tree. There's pecans on the ground. Probably a play area right over here. This is your entry to the shop. And then this is a storage shed for like your lawnmower and stuff. And it has decking in it for storage. There are three steps here. As you can tell, the outside of the house is in good condition. Has a, they had a little separate yard here for their dog. Look at this heat and air unit, guys. That thing is nice, nice size. It won't be overworked and looks newer. As I mentioned, the house does have a basement. Privacy fence, this is heading south. This is west. It does have gutters. Look over here at our shop while we're this close. Love pecan trees. I always think of Grandma Minnie whenever I see them. So the 30 by 30 shop does have an overhead door that faces the north for you to pull in and out. Tons of workbenches, electric. Now it does not have an automatic opener, but that would be an easy, an easy add. It is insulated. Really, really good shape. Very clean. And then the wood shed here. I'm guessing it's about a 10, 10 by 12 or 12 by 14. So it has more shelving and decking like i said this would be a great area for your christmas decorations or lawn just pretty much anything this is what the yard looks like from the back so let's finish our tour of the inside this home is i believe 1672 square feet three bedrooms a bath and a half and a huge basement so you get a shop and a storm shelter Let's look at this. A little repair needs to be made there. Back through the kitchen, you get a different viewpoint here. So the living room is carpeted. 
And this is like a 22 by 14 room. The house does have central heat and air, so you really wouldn't need that anymore. Built-in shelves here, built-in shelves here with a little uh, desk, gas fireplace. This is really pretty. And you can tell they had their uh, TV hung here. And then beautiful windows that just need a little bit of attention. But here's how big that room looks. And there's additional lighting up here. Down the hall and on the, this is, goes to your basement, we'll go to it last. Extra storage here. The first full bathroom, we do go to a different type of flooring. It is linoleum. It's been updated, as you can tell. This is a new vanity, new vanity piece here and a countertop. It has a tub and shower combo. I love those doors. And can you tell that they're curved? And this is a really big bathroom with additional storage here. You can fit tons of stuff in there. So going back out, our first bedroom is here on the left. By the way, we still are at the original hardwood floors. Beautiful windows here facing the south. And this one has two closets. This one, nice sized. And this one. And that's really nice, especially for a spare bedroom. So going to the other bedroom, and these are bigger bedrooms. This one's like a 14 by 12. See how big this is? Nice size closet. You have a window, these windows here face the north. And then this, these two cute ones over here in the corner, one's on the south and one's on the west. The exact size of these rooms will be in my listing. And then we are to the primary bedroom. Look at the floor, just love it. And so facing the south here with your bigger window. Closet. And then we go to the half bath. It is the same matching linoleum that was in our other bathroom. It has a pedestal sink. And a toilet, some storage here. So super, super nice size rooms. Now let's go down and look at the basement. You know, sometimes basements smell really musty. This one doesn't have a musty smell and these are gorgeous steps. Well, let me turn the light. There we go. Has a ceiling fan has ceiling tiles. There are those two windows that we've seen in the uh, backyard. This is huge. This is bigger, about the same size, maybe a little bigger than the whole living room. They do have a heat source in here, but it is nice and cool in here right now. So this actually probably would be considered as finished space uh, if you were getting it appraised. So this is 110 Benton here in Sayre. Give me a call if you'd like to see it. You guys make it a great week.